Recent social media posts have raised curiosity about cloud seeding amid the state's heavy rainfall. Cloud seeding has been used for decades to help drought prone areas around the world. But what is it exactly and how does it work? Meteorologist Ryan Shopta explains. When looking at clouds, farmers and many have thought, can we squeeze out some of that rain and bring it down here where we need it? That's where cloud seeding comes in. It first started out with scientists in the 1940s. They wanted to prevent ice from forming on planes as they flew through clouds. They eventually discovered that introducing dry ice or silver iodide into these clouds helped solve the problem. Chemicals mixing in with supercooled water droplets induced the formation of ice crystals, reducing icing on the aircraft surface and having it fall eventually as rain. So what is cloud seeding? It's a technique used to enhance precipitation by injecting salt or silver iodide into clouds. Supercooled water droplets need something to grab onto and form around. So they become heavy enough to fight gravity and fall to the ground as rain. Enhancing rainfall slightly, frequently for mountainous terrain to increase snowpack, supplementing natural water supplies for surrounding communities, and for areas that do not have dependable rainfall. Now, there are both state and federal regulations on cloud seeding, where it's mostly done by private companies or water districts trying to help increase rainfall. There are several key takeaways from studies in the past, but here are some of the main ones. If done correctly, and if the clouds respond up to 18% more rainfall can be produced over a given area. Flooding rains is not achievable given the low success rate and only about 25% of clouds in a given area produce that increased coverage of 12 to 18%. Yes, some have shown a slight increase in rain or snowfall over mountainous regions, but overall effectiveness is low and not a guaranteed solution for drought where extreme drought continues for parts of Texas and the western U.S. Ryan Shoptal, Kins 5.